Amway has hired Austin-based architect Paige Sutherland Page to design the new $150 million tower. The Hyatt Regency Hotel in downtown Dallas has been a staple for several decades. Hurricane Florence officially making landfall 45 minutes ago, the storm battering the Carolina coast. After sitting vacant for many years, there was a push to go ahead and tear down the Statler Hilton and make more room for the park here at Main Street Garden in downtown Dallas. Now the hotel has been on the preservation list for over a decade. The spread of misinformation is not against Facebook policy policies unless it leads to violence. Private groups encourage like-minded people to band together, often against a common enemy, to fan the flames of division. I've always thought about wearing wings. I just I just don't know if I can uh, if I can come off as an angel. Some major hotels across the country are offering a new spin on the traditional concierge with dogs. Uh, is this your first time auditioning for American Idol? I auditioned when I was <laughs> 16. How far did you come to get to this audition today? I'm actually from Plano, Texas. How early did you have to get up this morning to get ready for this? Um, well, to be honest with you, I got up probably around like four. Remember the funky white sister who went viral last month for her show-stopping karaoke number? Well, that was Mary Halsey. Her version of Missy Elliott's Work It was so great, it caught the attention of the rapper herself. Geiger told investigators that she believes she entered her own apartment, which was located on the third floor of Southside Flats. Expect to see some familiar faces in Mayor Mike Rawlings and gubernatorial candidate Lupe Valdez, who will be out to show their support of the LGBT community. President Carter also believes that the polarization in the current political climate is affecting the housing crisis, a cause he has dedicated much of his life to solving. But it might not be all bad, at least according to the champagne industry. And oh yeah, yeah, that's definitely, definitely me. Uh, I think now I'm uh, ready for Dallas Pride.